So I'm about to uh, get started on a, an upper body routine and what I'm planning on doing today is uh, essentially a circuit. Um, it's like really a full body upper body circuit. So by that I mean I'm going to do five movements, okay? And those five movements are going to include uh, something for my shoulders, something for my chest, something for my back, um, something for my biceps, and something for my triceps. I'm going to create a routine that involves five movements, and all of those movements are going to be done with dumbbells. I'm going to do the entire thing with dumbbells. So uh, what I've really got in mind is um, core movements or, you know, what you would consider the primary movements for those uh, five groups, that being uh, a dumbbell press. In this case, I'm going to do an incline. Um, uh, probably a bent over row, bent over single arm row for the back. Uh, then I'm going to do um, curls uh, uh, for the bicep. What I'm going to do for tricep is I have a single dumbbell with, um, you know, right now it's got 80 pounds on it. Um, so it's going to be a behind the neck sort of a tricep press uh, with a dumbbell. And um, let's see, what am I, what am I missing? <laughs> Chest back, chest back, bicep, tricep, and shoulder, shoulder press. Okay, so <laughs> shoulder press. Um, and the order of this thing is going to be uh, really the, the shoulder movement can either come at the beginning or the end. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it at the end uh, so that by then my shoulders have gotten some work and I won't necessarily have to lift quite as heavy to get the same sort of effect. So, um, so anyway, that's, that's, so I'm going to set it up so that it looks like um, probably be bicep movement, okay, uh, the chest press, the bent over barbell row, the tricep press, the shoulder press, okay. Five movements, back to back, sets to failure, um, you know, and I, I, I use, I throw the word failure around liberally, but when I say failure, what I mean is that, um, when you get to that point where the burn is so bad that, that you really have to either pause for several seconds to get another set or, you know, so if you can't continuously flow and move um, uh, with good form, uh, then that's failure, okay? Uh, and that's what I'm looking for. So on, on all of my sets. And I'll probably run through this thing at least three times. I'm hoping maybe four, but, um, but if I got through it three times, you know, 15 sets, and they were all done pretty intensely, I'd be happy with that. So, uh, anyway, here we go.
Okay. So, happy days. That one's over. Part of the reason, or one of the reasons, that I like to use these types of routines, um, you know, uh, full body circuit, half body circuit, whatever, is time. Um, used to be, uh, and could be again at some point, that I had time to commit to, you know, an hour um, in the gym or, you know, an hour in, to exercise in general, to training, but um, it's tougher these days right now, especially with, you know, a one hour commute to work every day. So, combining all of these movements together um, to really, you know, bring balance um, to what you're doing, yeah, and you can, you know, you can accomplish these things in a much shorter period of time, um, you know, just with more intensity, um, and still achieve the same end result, really, long term, which is growth. So, uh, so you know, I, I kind of wanted to, along those same lines, when I talk about doing my sets to failure, um, when you think about when you think about weight training and weight weight training in general and body types, um, you know, three different body types: ectomorphs, endomorphs, and mesomorphs. Um, you know, and, and theoretically, each body has its own um, or responds, I suppose, um, more effectively to one method or the other or, you know, a, a variation or combination of, of all three. But, but um, that being said, um, you know, typically the, their routines, weight training routines are broken down into three categories as well. Um, low weight, high rep, moderate weight, moderate rep, and high weight, low rep. Each one of those, um, you know, in a spectrum of, of overall purpose, uh, um, have different um, uh, those three different training methods have different or, or are looking for different outcomes you know the, the high weight low rep size and strength the moderate weight moderate um, rep is you know a combination of, of, of say cardiovascular efficiency or endurance and um, you know aerobic efficiency and endurance and, and muscular strength um, explosive or powerful muscular strength as well. And then the, the high weight um, or low weight high rep stuff is typically for, you know, typically for um, improving aerobic capacity and conditioning and uh, toning, you know, and weight loss, that type of thing. Um, well, when I do my routines the way I do them, which is to, you know, start on the low end, um, low weight and high rep, um, and then progressively add weight until really by the end of the, or by the last set, I'm effectively doing high weight, low rep. So, so I'm transitioning from the, the, um, the beginning um, uh, low weight, high rep type format to eventually pushing, you know, 80 to 80 to hundred percent, let's say 80% of my one rep max um, to failure. So, so in my opinion, at least, you know, with respect to my own physique and, and, you know, what I've managed to, I think, achieve, um, is that I'm, I'm really looking for that middle path. I'm looking for, um, you know, uh, growth, strength, um, and leanness. So, so my training, you know, essentially, um, it is geared in that direction. Even though it's, it, it might, my methods might be different, the end game or the end result is the same. So, anyway, that's, that's my routine today. That's what, this is what I actually did. Um, I did the five movements, covered my whole upper body, um, did progressively heavier weight to failure, and I ran through it three times. That's all I can take. <laughs> so, anyway, hope this helps.